Alright, um, everyone, this third video that I'm making, I do kind of want to own up to some things. <clears throat> so, like, for instance, when I was making FNAF content before, I didn't really know about AUs that much until, like, I went, like, a little deeper into other channels, and I was watching their stuff, and then I kept seeing the word, like, I kept seeing the letters A and U, and I kept wondering, like, what is that? And then they, like, I finally read their descriptions, Alternate Universe. So then I started using that for my content, since I didn't want people to think I'm, like, basing my videos on the original FNAF lore, story, games, like, you guys know. And basically... I started making videos for fun. That's when, when I first made Five Some, I really liked the ship because I felt like the characters would go good, go good together. Sorry for my stuttering. I can't talk today. But like, honestly, at first I was thinking about just shipping the suits and stuff and not really the souls. But then again, that wouldn't really make it fun for me. But I thought about just shipping the souls, but I have the souls like aged up. And another thing, when you post your AU videos on your channel and you clearly state that it's an AU and it's not related to the content of the original FNAF story or games, why do people think it's okay to still try to correct you even though you say it's an AU and it's not related or canon to the actual games or story? Why do people still think they have the right to correct your AU? No, seriously, like, why do they think they have the right to correct it? You clearly state it's not related or canon to FNAF originally, and they're still thinking they have the right to correct your AU. Honestly, stop correcting creators when they have an AU, because one, that annoys them. Two, it just makes them want to quit doing the fandom, and because, like, you're correcting their AU, and they get sick of doing it. Like, like they, get, they get sick of you doing that. Like, stop. It's annoying. I'm mainly ranting about this because many creators have this problem. I kind of have it sometimes, but then again, people really, they don't question it anymore. But you still got them people who dare to like question you and then you get annoyed by all the questions. Yes, it's dumb. Now, another thing I want to own up to. I didn't ship William and Freddy at first until I seen another person doing it because like, I thought it was a cool video, so I clicked on it. And then... It was just William and Freddy together. Still, it was based on original Freddy being a kid and William being an adult, yes. But they were still shipped. And the ship isn't canon, so why are you getting mad? Why? The people who make rant videos about me, Rosemary, and other creators that have this ship, they mainly are upset because it's not really following the original FNAF lore, yet they keep saying they know what an AU is. But yet, they want you to stop using the ship in the videos. In our videos. Like, they want us to stop using that ship in our videos. Rosemary already stopped. She's already, she's staying with William X Glitchtrap and War. William X, William X Henry, my bad. She's staying with those two because those are her main OTPs. So she's sticking with them. I don't know if she's still gonna post the other ships. I doubt it because, like... I was like doing that first and then like I asked her to like follow up on some of them not all of them some of them some of them she posted because she thought it was cute and I'm like okay we think like the same way but honestly if you're a FNAF fan I'm sorry if you clicked on a gotcha tuber a FNAF gotcha tubers video and it ruined FNAF for you but it's kind of your fault because you clicked on the video. So technically it's your fault. You ruined it for yourself because you clicked on the video. You didn't have to click on it. So still your fault. And if you see a U on there and you click on it, you can't really get mad because it's an alternate universe. It's not related to FNAF or anything. It's like, it's an alternate universe. That's what AU stands for. Some of you who make the rant videos don't really realize it until you actually watch the AU videos. And even if you watch the AU videos and you still don't understand, you still have questions, that honestly gets annoying to the creator because then they're gonna have to make a whole nother AU video explaining everything that you asked. And that, get, that gets really annoying. And it gets them frustrated because they gotta keep explaining themselves over and over. That's tiring. This is basically a whole rant video right now because yeah, that's basically what it is. Also, to the people who believe that FNAF, like, 
FNAF, got you cheapers ruined for FNAF. They really didn't. It's just some of them that did, not all of them. You can't really blame all of them for ruining FNAF because not all of them ruined it. Like, one of my idols, Snowy Cream, like, her videos are just amazing and I live for them. Sure, she has ships in her videos that I don't agree with, but I don't come at her bashing her about them. I just like the video, say a nice comment, saying how I enjoyed watching it because, like, duh, I enjoyed watching her videos. They're, they're fun. So, like, you can't really be rude all your life, being hateful all your life, bashing people because of what they ship. That's honestly wrong, and it doesn't make you in the right either because you're just bashing the person, you're bullying them through the internet honestly that's why i kind of cried the other day because i got bullied i know this video is long and it's just me talking but seriously cyberbullying is wrong people have suffered from it i suffered from it because i literally cried for like a whole hour due to like one comment that was so really disrespectful and i couldn't stand it so i did block that user because i don't got time for it but like Seriously, bashing creators because of what they ship is wrong. Reporting videos because of what they ship is wrong. Reporting for no reason is just wrong. Also, to the people who hate me because of my ships, I kind of find you stupid and dumb for that because you're only hating me for what I ship. And I kind of find that stupid. How can you just hate someone because of what they ship? You can't really hate them in real life because you don't know how they are, you don't know how they act, or how they just, how they are. You're only hating on them because of what they ship in FNAF. And honestly, that's stupid to me because that's dumb. You hating someone because of what they ship. I find that stupid. And yeah, I got a few comments saying no one is dumb, no one is stupid, but honestly, that reasoning to hate someone, it is stupid. It's really dumb. It's honestly dumb. And the people who hate me, the people who always make rant videos about me, it's no one who has bigger subscribers than me. It's always people who have lower subscribers than me. Like, lower than a thousand. Or none at all. I have YouTube friends who have lower subs than me, but they don't hate on me because we're friends. We're literally like a whole YouTube family. Like, we stick up for each other. And like they know when I'm like upset because I make videos about it or I tell them when they ask me but like seriously you can't really bash creators for no reason I hope some of you understand this because it's really nerve-wracking to me and a few other creators because like it gets annoying it makes other creators want to quit some want to fight and just keep posting because like honestly you're bashing for no reason you have really no reason to bash other people without a valid reason and to those who keep saying my ships are pedophilia i honestly don't care at this point because it's what you think i know what my au is and i know how i made it and i know how my videos are nothing on my channel is canon and even though i use a kids app to make videos i use it because i'm using my creativity and Looney said like it's not only for kids it's for ages up like how many times does he have to say it how many times do other people have to say it it's not just for little kids it's for people 10 and up like when when, when will you realize that when another thing i want to point out i'm not the only one with the ships it's me rosemary and a few other users that I do not want to name because that'll bring them into the drama and then people will gonna start bashing them for it. I don't want that. I don't want no more drama, no more beef with anybody. Yes, I had drama like a couple months back because people want to sit here and talk all this mess. But like, at the end of the day, we're all people. We're all people. I know there are some of you out there that gets like, that gets hyped up over drama, but then when the drama's over, they want to go back to bashing people. And it's kind of stupid. It really is. And another thing I want to say. Some people get mad at me when I expose hate comments without blurring out the name, blurring out the profile picture. But I do that for a reason. I don't want other users to get attacked by the same person that attacked me. So I call them out on it. And that's it. Because haters need to be called out. Because they annoy the heck out of people. And it's really honestly a shame. Haters hate for no 
valid reason. And honestly, people only hated my channel because of my ship. My Foxy X Spring Trap video got removed for sexual content. And to my fans, y'all know nothing happened in that video. I got reported for no reason. The same reason with Chris X Nightmare. That video had nothing in it, and it still got reported and removed. But when you search up sexual gotcha on YouTube, the videos that actually have it in it are still up. But my videos got taken down. I couldn't upload for a whole week because my video got reported, even though nothing happened in it. When I sent an appeal to YouTube, they rejected it for both videos. But when you see the actual sexual content in Gotcha still up on YouTube, it makes you mad because your video got taken down, but their video didn't get taken down. And it actually contains said content in the video. Also, the user that I blocked that talked about my best friend, um, him and his friend reported me because apparently I didn't notice their criticism. How do you report somebody because they didn't notice your criticism? Now, I just went back on YouTube just now and the person, the two people I just spoke about, um, another friend of theirs gets to hear and add my comments to their commentary channel. Keep in mind, this person has only eight subscribers. The other two, one has none and the other one has like 50. Okay. I feel like they're only doing this for attention because I'm a big YouTuber right now. Though I'm not big, big, I'm just big right now. I feel like any person who rants about me in a bad way, they're only doing it for attention and they want people to side with them because apparently I'm always on the wrong. Alright. Alright. Well, I just got into a big argument with the, the user who made a video about my best friend and now a video about me, the one I posted in the community tab. Basically, he hates all gotchas equally, but right now he's only bashing me. He's doing it for attention because he wants to make his brand better. What brand? You ain't got no brand. Basically, he's, he was saying that he picks on gotcha tubers for fun because it makes his brand look good. I don't know how it makes your brand look good. It just makes you a cyber bully. It just makes you a cyber bully. You're only mad because I reported, I blocked or someone because they reported me. How are you mad? You're mad because that was your friend. That's why. That's why you're mad. But yeah, his channel is in my community tab. Both of his videos, um, Rosemary and me, are on my community tab. If you want to say something to him, you can. Just do not spread any hate. If you want to report the video, you can. Just do not send hate because apparently he doesn't care and he's only doing it for fun. How does how is picking on gotcha tubers fun? I may do a part two of this rant since this video is already long, but thank you for listening to me rant about certain things. There will be a part two for this because I know I'm not done and I still have things I need to explain to you guys. And apparently to the people who say that I play the victim, that I'm doing all this, blah, 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 blah. But yes, thank you for listening. Not really watching because it's just a black screen with me talking. But thank you. Thank you. Have a good day.